Hello everybody, welcome to the Two Passports Packed YouTube channel. So what I've done is I've transferred all my old videos from Luxury Travel Camel over to the Two Passports Packed channel. So stick around, watch the videos on this new channel. Thanks everybody, bye. Hello everybody. If you're looking for some information on the hike up to the Tiger's Nest Monastery in Bhutan, you've come to the right place. What I will do is show you some video and some photographs so you can know what to expect when you do your own walk to the Tiger's Nest Monastery. Here we are on the trail up to the Tiger's Nest Monastery and these are the horses from people that have already taken the trail up this morning on the back of these horses. So far I've been hiking for about 62 minutes. Okay, let's continue our journey. Here we are, 27th of May, 2016, on the hike up to the Taktsang Monastery. And that is where we're going. Apparently we're about halfway. I've been walking for 76 minutes so far, but taking it really easy and really slowly. Okay, let's get there. Once you've been walking for about an hour, you arrive at a cafeteria. Now you can stop if you like and grab a cup of tea, or what I suggest you do is keep walking because everybody else will then be behind you. If you do decide to take a horse up to the monastery, the horses can only go as far as the cafeteria. So what you'll have to do then is walk the rest of the way. It'll probably take you around three hours to get to the monastery, even if you're walking very, very slowly. Once there, what happens is you will be asked to leave your cameras at the security because no cameras are permitted to be taken into the monastery. Make sure you take your cash though, because you may want to make a donation for a butter lamp. Well, that was one of the most physically challenging things I've ever done. Walking all the way from down there, in the middle of the screen, where the green roof is, all the way off to the right, on the screen, and up to there. It may not seem a long way, but uh, yeah, it took three hours to get there and now I'm on my way back down to the car park. What you may want to do on your way back down to the car park is stop at the cafeteria that you may have missed earlier. Grab yourself a cup of tea and then go and sit outside. Have a look as well for some of the birds that are very popular in the area also, there are monkeys in the trees nearby. The walk back down to the car will probably take around two hours. Once you're there, make sure you buy a souvenir from your journey from the many souvenir sellers right at the end of the trail. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope this video was useful in allowing you to decide whether to do the walk up to the Tiger's Nest Monastery. If so, it would be great if you could give this video a like on YouTube. Otherwise, you're welcome to leave a comment below or better still, please subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our latest luxury travel adventures. Thanks guys.